okay, can we please just focus? We've hit our ceiling. We're we not going to get show, right? any yeah. more famous. We're not going to get any more money. I'm taking this thing to Netflix. We need new ideas. What do we have? Uh, ooh. Strip club sneaker shopping. Legally, we, we'll just get suit. That's Joe would fucking kill you if you pitched that idea. Oh, You're an idiot. All right. All right. Well, what do you got? Shit. Come on. I got the best idea out of this. I Come just on. Just hear me out. Just hear me out. Sneaker colors and laces. I already crossed that one off. That fucking sucks. What? Are you fucking kidding me? Whoopi. That was my best idea. That doesn't even mean anything. Sure. Nobody if you want to average 15,000 views an episode, sure. Dude, what are you drinking? It's 11.37. Wait, it just hit me. Mm -hmm. We get a show based off of my logo. It's gonna be a triggered sneaker show. Are you crazy? It's Black History Month, my nigga. Killer Mike got a fucking show called Trigger Warning. I'm out of here, bro. Welty, that show already exists. That's a full size. That's a full size. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Hello to every single member of the FS Army. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. Trinidad James, baby. Let's do it. And we have a special guest, a Woo! very special guest with us in the building today. Who are you, sir? I'm Michael Render, better known as Killer Mike. Okay, hey. thank you for coming by. Hey. Uh, we're going to talk sneakers. We're going to talk the Super Bowl, which was in, in you guys' hometown of Atlanta this, this past weekend. Uh, the A. We're gonna discuss plenty of things. Uh, the first thing we want to talk about actually is a Super Bowl related thing. Travis Scott uh, yeah. hitting the stage at the halftime show with these Jordan sixes. Are we feeling these? Yeah. Those are the green sixes. Yeah. Over. How do you feel about the performance overall? Decent. It don't matter. My 16 year old loved it. Okay. Don't matter yeah, what right. Old people right, 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 right. Give Big Boy a little bit more time. Big Boy period gracing the stage was perfect for me because okay. it, it was just like he deserved. To me, Big Boy deserved the whole set. Right. Because he's had such a stellar career with Outkast and Solo. Correct. But it didn't work out that way. So I was glad to see Big Boy. I seen that Cadillac like, came and through. He, and he rocked. Like the way you move. Script tonight. You know what I'm saying? Ball, what do we think about Adam Levine's tattoos? I know you like them. Hey, man. Adam, Adam, red in the yeah, face? Adam definitely got the church groups going crazy. All the old <laughs> ladies is like they want them. Let me tell you something. Like no bullshit. All right. We were at the American Music Award years ago. Big just dropped a video. He has a very beautiful wife. Shouts out to Sister Lolly Lee, right? right? I'm on the show. She loved Adam, wanted to meet him. Okay. I ended up, you know, being a brave young rookie. Like, yo, big boy's <laughs> wife likes you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're yeah. supposed to be. Black women like Adam. Okay. Jordans and Tats. Okay. He, I heard he got found around the Blue Flame in Magic City. Cool things might have happened. Okay. You know? Okay. Right, that's right. 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 what that song with Kanye West? Oh, well, I mean, that's just a classic. I mean, her more sick. bigger than Adam Levine having a song with Kanye West, Adam Levine and the Blue Flame. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, way sure. bigger than anything. Adam, I heard that was legend, but if you want to go, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> to go back to Travis, man, I really liked his outfit. Um, the sixes were crazy. I like the pocket they put on the side. I like that, the color. That's on me. What are we putting in that pocket? Weed. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. No coat pockets from me. Mr. Picky Nail over here might have something to say about that. It went away, know. so I'm, uh -huh. I changed my habit. Right. Fat people Columbia, shouldn't though. do coat. Yeah, fat <laughs> people should only smoke weed. <laughs> No, what you call it? I like Travis' outfit. The belt was actually made by Virgil Abloh for Louis Vuitton. So that belt that he had around him. That That's was what I was wondering what that was. His pants was a brand called Alix. Alix? Alex? Matthew, Matthew Williams. Williams. Oh, and Matthew Williams or whatever. I'm not sure what the vest was. I seen the shirt was Nike. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I, that's pretty. I, I like the outfit, man. Like a weightlifter. That jacket that was really where it was at. The Leatherman jacket he wore. For before he went out on stage, it was really dope. It had like a Rosa Parks tribute on it. It was crazy. Yeah, that jacket that. was crazy, man. For real, for real. Shout out to whoever made that jacket, for sure, for sure. Where did you, you watch it at home? Where you watch it at? I, I like football better at home. Okay. I like basketball in person. Okay, okay. Shout nah. out to my, my uh, shop. I got a shop in State Farm Arena. Bro, you got a barbershop. In the stadium, yeah, bro. That's so and hard. You're a customer of ours. Bro, uh, bro, that's so hard, yeah. bro. And I'm Shouts a, out to I'm Queen. a future customer. Yeah. Future yeah. customer. Yeah, deaf future customer, current customer, customer Queen. Can, can you just attest to this real talk? Go ahead. Once she cuts your hair, it, it almost makes it like girlfriends get angry. She takes nah, such good care. So Queen, first of all, shout out to Queen. We're shout gonna make sure we put a tag up there, put it right above my mm -hmm. head. Yep. We put it by my face because she do the facials for me. Yeah. Or whatever. Like she'll get you right on the face. I know you like those. Yeah. Oh, whatever. She's he legit, man. He needs to come get a proper haircut. He has oh, the, 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 the I'm white guy and I'm doing okay haircut. <laughs> doing you got the okay. white guy and I'm trying haircut. Yeah, porn yeah. stash bitches yeah. let's fuck. Yeah. I fuck with you. That's my whole brand. Yeah. That's it right there. Oh, I have to tell my Russian barber real quick I'm not coming in. Moving forward, man. Um, it's Black History Month and Russell Westbrook did these Jordans. And you said they're called the uh, Why Not 0.2? That's right. Yeah, it's like the Super Soaker. And the Super Soaker right? is oh, fine. That shit is sick. Yeah. And then you know that the inventor of the Super Soul, our man. boy Lonnie Johnson. Absolutely. So to me, I was like, okay, Jordan, bro. That's, that's dope. This they, made they me happy. on purpose? Do you think? Is that because they didn't really message it clearly? Aha. Yeah. Aha. 
And, and, and if it, it wasn't on purpose, it feel good. But Go this goes back to, I think, like what you were talking about mm-hmm. with Black History Month shoes, where you're like, oh, just don't throw Kente print on the shoe and be like, this is... Yes, yeah. sir. Like, this is actual, like, storytelling where it's yeah. like, and you're actually getting educated through this. This is Matt Wealthy certified, this Black History Month sneaker. I think that this is really, like, really smart, like, clever. Now that, like, you told me about it, when you first told me about it, I was just like, whatever, you know? But then now that I'm actually seeing the product, I'm like... That is the like, power of Black History Month. Black History Month is for white people. Let me... First, let me tell you that like Finally, black on. people know a lot about our history, but the greater community never really knows. Mm. So this is a month for us to well, share. It's like St. Patty's Day. I'm not Irish, yet I celebrate the shit out of St. Patty's Day. Let's, let's talk about some white things here. All white Adidas Ultra Boost. Was, That's just like you using your privilege to move us out of here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> God, this, is a, this is a black history month. Thing, right? You know about that. This is a black history month. So, so, oh, for the crack era, Adidas is getting so, so Adidas did like, a, it was like a Harlem Renaissance pack where all the others, or Harlem Knights or something like that, where yeah. all the other shoes were like black and had print on them. And they had this one all white Ultra Boost uh, yeah. that was part of the collection. And on the insole, it said CBC celebrating black culture. And that was the only thing. Wealthy was the creative director on the oh, collection. Oh, yeah. Because the only thing more <laughs> racist than white people are all white shoes. <laughs> there was an online backlash to this, and Adidas canceled the project. Could I get them in a 14? No, if they said may produce any. You're, you're, not, you're not mad at this? No, I'm going to tell you why. Because in many traditional African religions um, or spiritual religions throughout the diaspora, say you're a black Christian, on Sundays you're dressing all white. Mm. You have to dress in all white. Mm. It's, it's a requirement. That's a fact. Um, if you're Yoruba, there are things where you dress in all white. So there are many parts of the diaspora where spiritually you have to dress in all white. What's the problem with dressing all white when you're a 14 year old kid? Your sneakers are all colors. So your mom wants you to wear church shoes. You don't want to wear no whack ass church shoes. Mm-hmm. This gives you, would give you an option for like my homies that are Yoruba, things of that nature, to still be fly in the all white. So, so you're not if mad you at, notice, the, at the all white Adidas sneaker? No, not to put in the proper context. I just gave them context. They need to send me a check. Okay. Well, this is this is what you know. They they put out a statement about it. They said for the latter stages of the design process, we added a running shoe to the collection. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've later felt that it didn't reflect the spirit or philosophy that Adidas believes yeah. should recognize and honor Black History Month. So the sneaker is kind of pulled from the shelves. Uh, I just not... think it's a whack sneaker too. Oh. Like, can we just be it's just, honest? It's just lazy, you know. Yeah, like, it's just not a dope skip. sneaker. Skip. But I could have got y'all through. But you have you have a little bit of a uh, history with Adidas, you know. You and Big Boy have a yeah. song. You weren't really talking about Adidas. I never liked that 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 song. I love Adidas. Okay, like, I'm a I'm a top ten superstar. Yeah. Shelter. I love Adidas. But it better, you that were record was an Outkast song I was given, and Columbia said, "Do this, or your ass ain't gonna get no singles." Who did it better though, you or Corn? I'm a Corn fan, but you gotta go with yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember in the video you were wearing the J Master J, right? Yeah, yeah, The, yep, the yep, pro yep, model. Still got those. Did yep. they hit you up? No, actually, I bought my own. But Adidas hit you up when you did the song, or nah, no? they ain't give me shit. They never did. Adidas so, yeah. But it. since then, they've showed love. Shouts out the West. Okay. Do, do you and LP ever go back and forth with sneakers? Is there like competition between? He's you a Rod Laver guy. He's Rod, yeah, he's yeah, Rod yeah. Laver. He's um, he, I'm a I'm more of a Nike guy. I love Adidas. Okay. You remember him rapping about getting the fake Jordan ones? Of course. Uh, back up. Of course. <laughs> oh yeah, when his mom, yeah, his yeah. mom got him those when he yeah. wanted the Jays. He tells that story. Yo, moms, go ahead and get your dad. Yeah, I mean your kids are real pair, man. Stop, stop fucking up your kids' <laughs> rep, man. Do you think that brands in general, I'm not, I don't want to single single out anybody, are getting it right when it comes to Black History Month sneakers? We just speaking sneakers. I ain't nah, going nowhere. Nah, J- David Banner is a huge Jordan head. Mm. <laughs> Probably one of the Banner. best Jordan collections. The really? fact that he has, oh, yeah, for sure. The fact that Banner hasn't been consultant to do a Black History Month shoe is, the is criminal. Do you agree with Trinidad? This thing about you know the the Kenta cloth like on the sneaker, and that's just like an easy way out. That is easy. Not that it's not dope, but it's easy. Like the red, black, and green Nike Air Force One was lazy on mm-hmm. last year. We right, right. I I bought it. Yeah, no, I, nah, I wasn't mad. I, was like, I wasn't mad at it. Matched like, your Gucci, bruh. and it matched some of your Gucci. Yeah, right, exactly. But exactly. I think we could go doper. I think we could go deeper. Even I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. Went to Wish ATL in Atlanta. Um, this shout past out weekend, to Julie. Was, shout out to you know the people that the good people there. Justin over there. Um, at the register, I bought a, like I think a rocket jacket for my buddy. Um, shout out my boy Nico. And at the register, they had the same twos that I had a problem with from mm-hmm. last last week. I'm gonna keep that same energy. And my buddy, I was like, man, they actually look good in person, but it's just in general. It's You're the walk it back a little bit. No, I ain't <laughs> buying the shoe. I'm gonna tell you, I could have bought the shoe. I, I didn't think buy it. I think companies are afraid though. Like black people get pissed. Like sometimes it's just like, man, you don't know what to do, right or wrong. So. 
Kenton Clark is the easy thing uh. because you don't have the context. Say if you do an Arturio Schomburg, who is one of the fathers of Pan-Africanism, um, an Afro-Latino Puerto Rican who kind of set us off to show us on the world stage where we've been, like I would do a Schomburg joint. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I had some and, and, criticism and, and, for like Michael Jordan specifically. I know a couple years ago you posted on Instagram this, this one Jordan 5 and you said, Jordan, why don't you take all the proceeds from the shoe and put them into a black financial institution. Do you mm -hmm. think Michael Jordan is doing enough to support the as, black community? As, Mike is Mike. Yeah. Mike's always been Mike. I think Mike has done things like any other affluent black person to support to, the, to his satisfaction and that's fine with me. My what if is never a criticism of him. Mm. It's a what if. Mm. What if we took all the proceeds from one of the joints that dropped and move them into one of the most successful black banking institutions like Citizen Trust Bank. Mm -hmm. What that instantly does is add an influx of capital to then do small business loans, home loans, car loans that could then be paid back with interest that will provide more opportunity for the next young black designer to grow, for the next car designer, shoe designer, for right. the next black business to grow. So my thing is about what if more than criticizing? I yeah. can't criticize Michael Jordan. I didn't shoot no free throws in the gym with him. Fair I didn't enough. make no slam dunk. These brands have been a little bit more willing to get into these sort of uh, charitable projects with sneakers. Yeah. Like, do you think they really stand behind him? Do you think when Nike stands behind Colin Kaepernick, they believe in that, or do you think that's like a branding moment? I think it's both. Yeah, someone that the brand has to still believe in him to have fought for it. And I think it's a it's a terrific branding moment too. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's we're in a capitalistic society, so people find ways to make money even off tragedy, crazy. You know, it's America, baby. Yeah. And I don't have a problem with that. My thing is this: let's make sure the people who are in process of putting them together hold integrity. It doesn't feel like sometimes it's like opportunistic. You know what I mean? To like latch on to the he doesn't like this. Referring stuff. to the companies like Nike. I, I, just, and I, just, I just think it's like you take like the biggest like capitalist like cut like, and I'm all for. We know all, all for all for. You don't want black people have money, you say? No, no, no. I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying. No, no, all for. All for nah, that's just, just no. Just, just, no. <laughs> Look at him. I, nah. I just yeah, don't time. Black month to make money, but St. Patty's Day is okay with you. I'm nah. Irish. <laughs> Look, shout out to my Irish ancestors. Shout, shout what out. are you? You got a Russian barber. What are you? I'm people Ar don't think white people do. White no, people I'm, I'm actually Armenian and Polish. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. So you like white light? You like ethnic? I guess. Yeah. We went through, we went through some troubles to get to this. Shout out to the Poles. Troubles. Yeah. Y'all are noble people. This guy. Right here, uh, no, man. but I just think it's like sometimes it's like when you talk about these things, it's like people act like Nike's like a force for good in the in the world. But then when, when you know you talk about problems where people that like associate with like capitalism or, or like whatever, it's like Nike's literally like the biggest like. Proponent. Yeah, but I don't talk about problems with capitalism. There yeah. it, there are problems in capitalism, but if we're in a capitalistic society, you had better learn how to make it work for you. I mean, Bernie That's, Sanders. Bernie Sanders didn't win, so I guess we still are. Yeah, 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 yeah. you know, and I don't think we would have been. You know, come on the show. Yeah, we wouldn't have became Russia had he won. We just would have had free health care. You know what I mean? What my, my thing though is, there's nothing wrong with opportunity being taken in a capitalist society. There's something wrong when the people who the opportunity is being taken on the behalf of are not participating in that opportunity. Are we, so, are we talking about like black owned businesses? Like how do you, you know, you had that play like, on your show <laughs> yeah, you know, like, to try and support black owned businesses. Is there yeah. any way to do that when it comes to sneakers? Well, I have three qualifications for black owned businesses. Either you're a business totally owned and ran by black people. Mm -hmm. You're a business that are non-black owned, but you hire and are respectful of the community. You hire black people. Mm -hmm. Or you're one that's so small, maybe you can't hire black people at a time, but you're invested in the community, meaning you support little league, <coughs> schools of that nature, and you're willing to hire black people. Okay. If you fit one of those criteria, then I'll find a way to support you, right? It's all right, speaking speaking about business and making money, do you think that uh, people in general, or you could talk about black community, whatever, are like just spending too much money on sneakers and not investing it wisely, or? Yeah, of course they are, that's what all people do. Right. A lot of people fuck up money, it's America. It's America, baby. Right. But with that said. My 401k is looking healthy though. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm contributing. And you still got on some dope. You know? Yeah. you know? I would say to people, if you like a company, <laughs> not only buy their clothes and invest in it. I got some stock in Nike and Ralph Lauren. How, how much money did you spend on sneakers growing up though? Was that like a thing for you or? Growing up, how much, many pair of sneakers did I steal? You gotta remember, <laughs> yeah, I, I right, came right, up right. in the 80s, yeah. in the 90s, you know? Yeah. Where so, were you stealing from? What was it? Oh uh, man, out of your locker, off your feet, mm. out of the store. The worst shit you wanted to hear on night, uh, on Marta when you was a kid was, What's up? What's up, man? Boy, oh, look, man, that's bro. just like what? God. You damn. know what time it is. I'm gonna have to fight all these niggas, Lord. Because it's not one. It's <laughs> never <laughs> one person. It's least like three. Streets of Rage style, right? Like, y'all niggas want my sneakers. Bro. Come on. When it comes to sneakers and growing up, 80s coming into the 90s, we ain't even gonna go to 2000 yet. 
Like, what were those sneakers in that Atlanta scene? Because I was too Fila. young. Feel I was the one? Because you, you wanted Jordans, but your mama wasn't going to go buy you no Jordans. And everybody didn't have the heart to take a pair of Jordans off no other kid's feet. Mm -hmm. So the classic Fila is the dope boy shoe of Atlanta. The, the Nike yeah. Cortez, which was the dope boy Nikes, the dope boy Fila's, which was the classic Fila. Correct. Was that Air Force One? No. <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, Air Force One, we wore before that. But it was like, it was the um, it was the mids. They were cool, right. but the dope boy shoes, because we, we used to wear Jordan, we used to wear Jordache jeans. Jordache jeans at the bottom didn't have the hem, so it was kind of frayed. Mm -hmm. So you didn't really want a high top or Air Force One that looked blocky. Mm. You wanted something that fell like right on the top of the shoe, they could still see the swoosh. How many pairs you got in the collection, mate? My wife, Amy, I had 2,000 pairs. Yeah. And I got down to about, probably back down to about four or 500 pairs. Now. Okay. Let's stop. And Air Max One's your favorite shoe all time? Am I? Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. You're right about you. Do your yeah. right. little Paulin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, Mike, while we have you here, we want to we want to discuss some controversial sneakers on here. We know your show on Netflix, Trigger Warning. Yeah, yeah. Wealthy's our resident trigger guy. I think you guys may or may not fall on opposite ends of the spectrum politically. We'll we'll get to all that, but we have a handful of sneakers here we want you to react to. Some okay. of them are political uh, intentionally, and some of them kind of generated some backlash I got unintentionally. So the first shoe we want to talk about here is the Nike LeBron 15 Equality. Yeah. Are, are, you, are you triggered by this? Are you are you cool with this? I, it's, it's synonymous with like LeBron's message. He's taking your job, bro. It's the black, it's the white shoes, the glasses. He's taking your okay. job. Well, it's LeBron, I get it. No, I think that this this was like a, like a big uh, initiative for Nike. I think it like, but were you triggered by it? No, 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 not not triggered by it. I, I, I've always said that my my bigger thing with Nike is that like this stuff is like totally totally cool. I think sometimes they force themselves into the. No, I keep that same energy. I always talking that man. shit about Nike, motherfucker. I am, man. It's like it's like I think LeBron's the perfect person to do it when you like go to Nike campus and it's like pink haired like social justice warriors like. It's, oh, like, there we go. That's what we were looking for. And, and, there we and, go. And, 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 and you know, it's like it's like Nike feels like a very like monolithic like thought like company, and I feel like that's not Republicans like what they buy sneakers too. No, that's not even that's not even bro. That's not even the the issue. It's just like I just think that's like. So there this, is an issue. No, this shoe this shoe is totally fine. I just think True. that some people at <laughs> Nike some people at Nike are. Uh, a a little, little too much, and just need to, just like design some dope shit, and you don't have to worry about a little, all the a time. little triggered. Uh, the next okay. shoe we want to talk about here is the Puma Clyde Court Reform. So, Mike, this is uh, a long name. Yeah, a collaboration <laughs> with this uh, project that basically is, is supporting prison reform, and so 100% of the proceeds go to support Can prison reform. Meek yeah. Mill is involved. No, no, no trigger for you on this one. You're cool with this? I just, I don't like the design. Okay. I mean, you know, anything that helps, it helps. You know okay. What I'm saying? It's many. You know, what I mean, it's my thing. Like any little bit helps. I just don't. The, the, I'm, the, the sock sneaker can, the sock sneaker can only get so original. Mm, wealthy, like, wealthy. I think they need a sock sneakers as a whole. I'd be happy. If they just went away, right? Yeah, straight. Like to me, Presto got it right Presto 20 years right. ago. Yeah. But then you, you, don't, you need to keep going. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm cool. <laughs> you know what I mean. So as a design, no. As as the 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 thought behind the design, absolutely. Wealthy? No, I think I think prison reform is like one of those issues. Shout out fellow Armenian Kim Kardashian, uh, make, making it. Oh happen. yeah, good clap. Yeah, that was that was Gotta that was a good move. I think like the timing seemed a bit weird though because when they they announced the initiative. It was right after Nike announced the initiative, and it was like all the brands are going to jump on social. That's good, though. That's what you want. Puma. 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 But I didn't know. But if it felt like we were talking about like authenticity, because obviously these things are in the authenticity can. Authenticity doesn't matter when it comes to pushing the agenda to right, get right, people right, out right. of prison. You know. Mm. You know. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not. I'm not saying that. I meant like it, just like if it brand, felt opportunistic, like you that, said. That's what I'm yeah. saying. It just it's, felt like it's nothing wrong with opportunism in a capitalistic society if it helps the people that are trying to be helped. You don't have a choice of how like kids are introduced into bigger thinking or outside of the box thinking. Kids are given a way to think. This you are Armenian, you are Polish, you are black. This is what's happening. This is we are culture. This you're given that, and then you get out in the real world and you discover other people and other things, and you kind of grow from that, right? Well, that comes through your interaction not only with people with brands and shit. So I remember the first time. Brands even start acknowledging Black History Month, period. We were just happy to just be acknowledged. Like, when was God, that? When was like, that? When the, was... You start seeing pop up in the 90s. Nine, okay. Like late because 90s? Because black brands popped up because FUBU popped right. up, Carl Walker, Benai, Walker Wear. So then major brands had to pivot and right. finally acknowledge yeah. the black kids who were making their stuff cool. So right. it's, it's definitely opportunistic on that point. But with that said, does it finally provide, I need white kids in Nebraska buying Air Force Ones during Black History Month because I'm never going to get in their textbooks the first person to die on the behalf of the American Revolution was a black man. 
I'm never going to get in their textbooks, Langston Hughes and Conte Cole and, and James Baldwin. They're going to gain that appreciation once they go to a liberal arts college, you know, okay. later. Right. But okay. I can give it to them at 15 if I have a, a James Baldwin night. Somebody's going to say, what the fool is fucking James Baldwin? <laughs> right. Fair enough. Mike, the next shoe we want to talk about here, this is the Rising Sun Jordan 12 from 2009. So a lot of Koreans were, were upset about this shoe because on the inside, on the insole, there's like the Japanese flag and they kind of said that was a symbol of Japanese imperialism. Are, are you are you are you triggered by this? Is that is that a fair criticism? I mean, I'm not Korean, but I have Korean friends. So what do you think? I don't think because that's that's their that's so their you just, you just defer, you, you defer to them on absolutely. It. So okay. if my friend Hannah says that shit's whack, that shit's whack. Oh. This shit sucks. I was actually working at Foot Locker when this shoe came out, and the thing was is that the insole had like the the rising sun, which yeah, is like yeah, the Japanese right white flag. Yeah, but we had to like manually take the insoles. <laughs> Out of the shoes, and like Nike sent like a package of just like plain insoles. white insoles, and had to like. Did you keep any of the old ones? Uh, people kept like a few. On oh yeah, right. Yeah. He got a well, wall you, full of flags the in the no, house. No, but, but this nigga here, man. I, I think, I think, I think <laughs> the crazy part is the thing I don't understand about the shoe is that if the shoe itself is inspired by that, and then if you're just taking the insole out because it has the flag on it, it's like wouldn't the shoe itself still? <laughs> well, it pops up still. There was still there were some carry, people a couple and years and ago. And Nike actually included that the Jordan 12 in the Chinese New Year pack from Disrespect. whatever. And it's just like I don't, I don't. It's like why don't they just leave it alone? You know? You're gonna like, piss somebody. Off. Right. The next shoe on here is the Air Max 720. So there was a petition about this recently. They uh, they were worried that the the script on the bottom it flipped a certain way, looked like it spelled the word Allah. In Arabic. Can you oh, speak really? Arabic? You're Yo, Arabic. remember the air bacon? Of course, yeah. yeah similar controversy. Mm. Mike, Mike, is this is, is somebody thought it? That's no, crazy. I don't think that that's to be honest. I, I don't, don't see I it. Just, I don't see that. Somebody thought but I said I the air bacon's. No, I'm just saying there was an asshole in the design meeting that knew that information yeah. and didn't say it. Yeah. Now, somebody in that design right. meeting, there was a black intern maybe there, or a young white kid with a black girlfriend okay. or a Muslim girl who just who should have said, "Yo, hey. so, that kind of looks like the word Allah." Maybe we shouldn't call these shoes right. the air bacon, bacon, bro. And because you didn't do that, you're probably a vice president now. But, but you but pissed the, off the, the Air Muslim Max community. with the Allah on the bottom. You're not mad at that? I don't. I don't see Allah okay. when I see it. Wealthy. I but think, again, I think I, well, it's supposed to be like the air. I just think it's just such a coincidence. I think it's like people just trying to get outraged. It's like Nike's not oh. trying to put a secret message when you flip Air Max nah. upside down that like we're trying to offend like the Muslim part of the world. It's nah. just like it doesn't okay. make sense. The, the last shoe on this list is this is the Adidas JS Roundhouse mid that has the shackle. The Jeremy Scott. On the, on the, Jeremy on the Scott. collar, yeah, they, they pulled for? these after after some backlash. I wish I could have got a pair. Of them. He took, posted a picture after this controversy that came up, and it was a My Pet Monster uh, toy from like the '80s that had orange shackles around mm -hmm. its wrists, and that was the original intention of designing this shoe. The backlash is what that these look slavish. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, but you, I feel like it's only slavish if you make it a slave. Like it didn't. It didn't bother me. I don't. I'm not a slave. Like, well, I was more offended just by the stuff that Adidas was doing with Jeremy Scott, just being uh, like ridiculous. So you wouldn't wear this? No, I just think a lot of the shoes are just like totally like crap. You know I, what I mean? definitely would have loved the teddy bear. I had a pair of teddy bears. I, could, I saw that stuff and I was like, dude, I, like bear. I can't do it, man. I You're can't. not a large black guy who women call a teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> you got it with a brown right, teddy bear. Come on now, man. Let me ask you a real quick question though. Have you ever resold sneakers? Have I resold a pair of mine? I give away more pair than I resell. All right. Mike, every week here on the show, we give somebody the worst take for something stupid or outrageous they said the last week on the show. Okay. And the, the commenters will pick on YouTube for us, so please let us know this week and we'll punish them next week. I think it is actually me again. <laughs> Two in a like row. The punk that we do, I guess, because I said the goat joke with the goat business. Eating goods and goat and and and. You fucking with club. goat? I I think goat is a really good business. I think. Not, it, but not the it, goat business. Let's get my boy right, man. Let's get my boy right. So I have right. to take my sneakers got off these and put on these. In. We have. Uh, oh shit! The we, got, we got we got something else. Ooh, you got you got gifts. Got oh, too. those are not. The, these are what inspires the right. Balenciaga. You know what? Yeah. 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 Just Mike, Mike. Just, let, wait, just wait, 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 wait. Real quick, let the record show. I don't even actually think that my got the worst take like by votes. The producers decided for some reason that I have to wear. Mike, anyway. we also wanted to to pass this to you. We thought it was uh, <laughs> important. Bridging bridging of the of the of the gap. Full size run hat, but on the side. Trigger. Trigger. <laughs> you, got the, you got the trigger. There it official, is. Official, official. Give my boy right. Official. I officially look like a dad going to a PTA. <laughs> I have my dad hat, I have my Ralph Lauren sweatshirt. You officially triggered. And shout out to the amazing show to me. I'm 
Man, Good thank job, you. brother. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. It I remember my last three days trying to go back on. The bike ride thing was deep. Yeah. I ain't rode a bike in a minute. Hey, so. man, black people, there's a whole plethora of businesses we can be opening. And let's just get to the business right. of opening them. Right. And I want to say to people, too, when I say support black business, I'm not saying black people only support black business. What I'm saying, since most of the time you live near people who look like you, is support local and mm. small business. Yeah. My barbershop was inspired by not only my man Fat Steve from Born Homes, but a man named Alonzo Herndon who started the Atlanta Lice. I love it. I'm just not going to wear it right now because I have a crescent part in Ooh. the black community. That's a very cool thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, he going to get one next week. Yeah, Al Alonzo. <laughs> that's the part. Uh, yeah, see. <laughs> Alonzo Herndon started the Atlanta Life Insurance Company because he had a barbershop that serviced the white business class and he learned about stocks and bonds and insurance and the importance of that. My community grew because the greater community brought us an education. So when I say support black business every Friday, like on the show, that means find a restaurant, find a seamstress, find a shoe snore, a shoe cleaner, find a way to support it because that helps the bigger economy. It helps the larger group of us. A strong black American economy helps the larger economy be stronger. So I don't exclude people from stuff. You know, don't talk to, you know, black girls about their hair and appearance and shit in school because everyone knows in the black community that'll get your ass beat. Right. But right. otherwise, we welcome y'all in. But don't right. touch my sister. Move right. forward. <laughs> right. We do a segment on the show called Drip Flip or Skip. All right. Drip being, you dress good, you feel good, drip. You know what I'm saying? It looks good, drip. Ain't that what Dion and Dominic yeah. used to say? You drip, you, what's it, you look good, you play good, you play come good, on, you play good. Come on now. Please, Dion Sanders, come on the show. I can help you get show. Dominique too. We definitely Dominique, need Dominique. come on definitely the show, please. Make it happen. Flip. Um, being, uh, you know what? I'm going to pass on these. I'm going to make some money off of these. I'm going okay. to jug these. Gotcha. Skip. We don't like it at all. Skip. Gotcha. All right. Gotcha. Starting with our first one, we got the Adidas Overkill ZX10,000. Yeah, th this shoe. Go ahead. I will let you to talk about no, this shoe. Hey, so, hey, you know, the um, <laughs> in the late 80s, uh, Adidas did the ZX1000s line, the 4,000, 5,000, 7,000, 8,000, and they ended at 9,000. And they brought back the original it's designer. Be less than 10,000 words, this backstory here. Okay, Keep cool. Going. They brought back the original designer, Jacques Chasson, to be like, what What would the 10,000 have looked like if, if you designed it to fit like the 1990, right? They did a mm -hmm. shop in Overkill in Berlin, and they designed. So they took two right. mint shoes, right? And right. Then each pack has three pairs of shoes in it. You get a full set of the mint shoes and you get one blue shoe if you want to toss it in the mix and freak it. Um, We're a drip flipper skip. For me? Yeah. Keep it If they're rare, I'm going to flip them. Personally, to keep in my garage, I'm going to skip them. Skip. Yeah. I'm flipping right. these. I'm selling these to Wealthy on StockX. This is, I, I like the shoe okay, but... <laughs> That logo on the side is too much for me. Yeah, it goes sketches by the time it gets to the bottom <laughs> of the side. No. Drip, flip, or skip. You don't need to sell them to me because my pair should be here today. So, um, oh, respect. The drip. I'm with my boy. Drip. Moving forward, we got the ZX4000 from Adidas, the 4D. Mm -hmm. The 4D is the sole. It's a new technology. Put the sole down there. Mike, it's pretty amazing. Drip, flip, or skip for you? Skip. 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 This is a drip for me. I, I, it does have the logo again, but a little bit smaller, so it, it's what not quite so distracting. What if Wex sent this to you? Wex has given me Adidas before that. I like. I'm just over the like. I'm such a, a, a 87 guy. Mm -hmm. It's hard to follow that sil silhouette because it just makes me want 87. I actually really like this shoe a lot. I, I, yeah, I really like. White it. men like the sock shoe. The sock shoe. Shout out to DJ Tracks. No, this isn't a sock shoe. It has a, has a tongue on it. It's sock no, looking. No, it's, it's sock still looking. Sock the idea is yeah. sockish. I, yeah. I, yeah, I, I agree to disagree with that one. Skip on my end. Skip. Jordan Blue Patent Nines. The hood loves these. Oh, you know what I'm, saying? I'm skipping the shit out of this. <laughs> <laughs> this is the shoe where the drug dealer, both his baby mamas, and all nine of his children got. This is actually a, a drip for me. The shoe. I remember looking at the original pair, the Lowe's from 2002 online, quite a bit back in the day, and lusting after them. So I dare you to wear some of those shoes this year. I dare you. Jordan he is wearing uh, 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 no, 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 drip like, flip or skip. Not a not a Jordan guy running shoe guy, but nine. Drip flip or skip, bro. No nines, especially nines. Like nine is like a. The all blacks are ill. The nines to me are like a skip. Like Mike didn't even play in that shoe. Uh, I'm I'm gonna say flip. Basically. I'm gonna say flip on those. So we do outfits also. There he is. Oh, there man. he with is with the Puerto Rico. There he is with the Puerto Rico's <laughs> on. Young, no, but no hair on your face, kid. man. No hair on the that. face, Mike. I don't want no problems with him. Talk us <laughs> this outfit, Mike. Talk, where talk where are we going right now? What's happening? That was fresh out the trap with a record deal. <laughs> that, Woo! Was, that was like denim shorts, white tee. I probably still have a couple of marijuana. That's such an Atlanta outfit. That's an Atlanta that is. outfit. Trill Bill is playing in the background. Right? Got him. You still do shorts? I still do. I mean, I'm a big guy, so I don't want to be showing my knees and my little. 
thigh fat. So this, so this is a drip. This, this is what, what was gonna say? I still got this outfit. I still <laughs> got those Puerto Ricos. Probably still got this hat. And again, this is. I will probably wear this to my kids' school. This, no, this is a drip. This this stands the test of time. I have nothing. Well, to yeah, this is, this is a real nostalgic fit. Like oh. this is <laughs> drip, drip. This is Atlanta, right? This yeah, is Atlanta, Atlanta, drip. Atlanta, Memphis, Jacksonville. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, we have our Polish uh, Hunter of the Year here. This is something we thought we'd have in common, Mike. I shoot guns. Shit. Guns. We eat it. Yep. Yeah, I got guns. Uh, I'm with you out. Drip lipper skip. I'm those wearing, are the blazers you're wearing? Those are uh, Jeremy Fish Nike SB uh, classics. Nike uh, SB classics. I'm rocking but, with you on that. What you shooting? Uh, it's a 12 gauge shotgun. That's, Double barrel. Uh, yeah. Uh, my dad. Uh, uh we don't he got pat- no, got passed down. It's chill out. They're gonna good talk. Get a horny over it. That, 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 gun, that gun's like 110 years old. That's dope. What were you killing? Uh, no, that was just at a range up in uh, Maine. We were shooting. Uh, Y'all hunt too. Uh, I don't hunt. My dad you does. You sure you don't but hunt? I just, no, I just shoot targets. What's he hunt? Does like uh, shoot pheasant, at targets. Yeah, you shoot meat at targets. and deer like that. Yeah, eat it. Yes. You gotta eat what you kill now. Yeah, shouldn't just be killing not to Brandon. eat. This is a skip for me. I don't have any use for a gun. Mm. I, I, outfit, says, outfit says it all. Drip, so, trip, this was 2009, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm dripping with you. What'd you call it? I'm a skip. I'm a skip. I I'm hate that hoodie. All right, all right, guys. All right, before, we, before we get out of here for the day, we do have some comments from the, the YouTube viewers to read off. A Hess Kicks says, another one. Nice show, fellas. And Josh Luber did a good job. Exciting to see what happens with the company. If it ever went public, I would buy in with a quickness. All right. Shout out to us. You're welcome, Josh. Uh, Brandon Duncan said, shout out to everyone watching it here and not on the Complex channel. Everyone who watches it over there is fatter than DJ Ack. Wow. No fat shaming on the Soul Collector YouTube. Sorry. Uh, I don't give a shit. I'm cool. (laughs) Let me tell you you all something about being fat, black, and southerner. You get way more girls in strip clubs than being skinny and white and looking broke. So, big fan. I'll never give it's a shot. Like, as long, as, like as, long as I can get an assist. Yeah, no, I got okay. you. I, okay. Sh- we have Lauren Speck saying, I'm genuinely worried about Brendan. Is everything all right, buddy? You look a little depressed. Thank you for your concern. Damn. Okay. Um, we have Antonio Salgado saying, Wealthy singing Rough Riders Anthem got me hollering. Oh, that, wow. was a, that was a dark moment. Here but, we go, shut him down, open up shop. <laughs> DMX, come on the show. Yeah, this is your latest episode of Full Size Run. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, I have been your host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. And Trinidad James. Here with Killer Mike. Woo! We'll see you next week. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Buy six for my kids. Bought a seven for my kids. This is Full Size Run. I need you to subscribe now or I'll be forced to shave my mustache. This is Full Size Run. I need you to subscribe now or I will quit this motherfucker, man. Subscribe now or Trinidad James will have to freestyle again. Subscribe now or I have to get a real job. Subscribe now, because I just want to buy Gucci socks and be great and live my best life, please. Thank you. I can support that. Yeah, definitely. If, if nothing else, subscribe so Trinidad James can buy Gucci socks. <laughs>